All right, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today, before we get started, I'm working on my 1997 Subaru Impreza that I got for 125 bucks. I do want to talk about what happened earlier today. I do feel bad that I haven't given you guys an update in a couple weeks now, but basically I was gone for a week in Juneau, Alaska, and I did a lot of hiking and fishing, and I've just been basically enjoying the end of my summer. Just uh, being out and about, you know, just taking in the, the nice weather before it goes away. And unfortunately, when I came back, the Impreza started giving me problems. And it wasn't anything major. I mean, mechanically, it's been great. But what happened was the brakes. I was driving the car like I have been for quite some time. Now, it's always squeaked a little bit, especially when it gets hot. And I always thought maybe it was just something to do with, you know, the change of the weather and maybe the heat is kind of doing it. And it was never anything that I really thought, like, you know, was a big deal. So I just kept driving the car. And I, I drove it all the way to North Bend, which is really far away from my house. I've driven the car to Bellingham. I've driven it to downtown. I've driven it to the airport. The car's gone everywhere. And it's never let me down. But what happened yesterday was almost a complete disaster. So I'm driving back home and everything's all good. And the brakes started making a little more noise than usual. And I was just kind of like, uh, what's going on here? So keep driving the car and I'm actually on my way home and it just got so bad. The noise, it just sounds like metal on metal just making contact. And I don't know if you've ever heard like that screeching noise. It's almost like taking a fork to your dinner plate and just just digging it in. And it just, it was agonizing. Like I had to roll up the windows and everybody that's around me is just looking at me like I'm crazy. So limp the car back home and basically the footage that you're about to see now is from earlier today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I do feel bad again that I wasn't able to put the wheels and tires on, but by the time we fixed the car and brought it all the way back, it was basically nighttime. I'll have to save that for the next video. And you know, I hope you guys keep watching because it, it's still a good video. And there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to show you guys. We'll do a little bit of time travel right now and I'll see you guys in a sec. So basically this is what the drum looks like in the back and all I really wanted to show you guys is just how to take off a drum if you've never done drum brakes before. And with this car, all you really need is a 12 millimeter bolt to fit into these two threadings right here and that'll help back this off because these usually get stuck and then you can either lightly hit it with a hammer or even take a screwdriver in between here and just pry it out. And I was just looking through like an old uh, little bucket of old screws that I have and I found a couple that fit pretty well. And all I'm going to do is just lubricate them with a little bit of oil because these things typically get pretty rusty. And yeah, we should be good to go. Alright, so it looks like the spring on this side popped out of place. So you see up here up top, it's supposed to be lined up in this point, but it's over here. So these are kind of a nightmare to put back on, but I'm just going to try my best just to kind of finesse it in there. So give me a sec. So 
So upon further inspection of the drum brakes, they actually look to be in pretty good shape. There is plenty of brake dust on the drum itself. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean these up with some brake cleaner, and then I'm going to take them to get machined. And I'm hoping that that will get rid of the squealing noise. So what I need to do now is I need to go to the other side and take care of that. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so I was finally able to get this drum off. And what I noticed on this side is they're starting to wear kind of unevenly. So towards the bottom, they're wearing pretty thin, but up here, there's tons of life left in the shoes. So what I'm suspecting is that this is out of round. And just to show you right here, this is all that came out of the drum, which is not always the greatest thing, but it's just a bunch of dust that's been collecting for a long period of time. And this is what the inside of the drum looks like right now. And what I'm hoping is that all we need to do is just machine these and then I'll get rid of all the noise and squealing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the machine shop real quick and I'll see you guys in a little bit. A few moments later. All right, and we're back. Now, I picked up the drums from the machine shop and they look really good. Let me show you guys real quick. So this is what they look like after they were machined. Look to be all good and ready to be put back on. This side is good, but on the other side, the two springs that hold the actual shoes together fell out. I'll show you guys that real quick. And basically what they look like is they're just like these little springs with the some sort of retainer at the end and basically what they do is they hold in the shoes from moving so right now you see how they're they're wiggling around there's like this little pin that comes out and that needs to be held straight so that we could put this as well as the cap that clenches onto the spring and this is going to take a little bit of just finagling it but i don't think it'll be too much of a nightmare and then everything else is just basically putting this back on and also what i want to do is I wanna actually grease the points where the back of the shoes touch on the back of the drum, just to make sure that the squealing noise is not actually coming from that. So, wish me luck. for the fun stuff. Wheels are on the ground, so let's take this thing for a spin. So far, so good. My hands are black, but there's no noise. So let me let the brakes heat up a little more, and I'll come back in a sec. All right, the noise is gone, finally. Now, I'm driving the car right now, and it's all warmed up. I've been driving it for about like 10, 15 minutes, and Usually around this time, this is when it like really starts making the noise and it starts squealing like crazy. But now, here I'm gonna slow down real quick. Nothing. Uh, that's the best feeling. Cause the shoes were still in really good shape. 
So it wouldn't make any sense to replace the shoes if it didn't need to be done. And there's tons of life in them. And all we had to do is just machine the, the drums. Car drives great. Temperature's good. I mean, I, I've driven this thing everywhere and it's never really given me any troubles except for the really annoying brakes. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I do feel really bad that I didn't get a chance to put on the new wheels and tires for you guys, but this was just something that came up today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Mm -hmm.